hello guys and welcome to my channel in today's video i will show you how to make a live persistent usb stick for kali linux be sure to like this video subscribe and share as much as you can so let's get started oh gadget now first of all you will need these three softwares Universal USB installer, mini tool partition, and uh, Kali Linux ISO image. All the links will be in the description below. Download links and you can download them. Now, first of all, we will open Universal USB installer. Now, select the Kali Linux version and uh, browse to your ISO file which is on the desktop uh, just click on open and uh, now uh, there is an option of uh, show all drive as you can see my pen drive is already showing but if for some reason your pen drive is not showing you can uh, check this uh, checkbox but uh, be sure don't overwrite your existing uh, hard disk now you can see that it's my e drive so it is good I can proceed with that and uh, select that uh, format button because we have to format the pen drive now it will take some time just click on yes and it will take some time to do all of this process and I will just skip to the end now the process is completed close now close it as you can see installation done close this software and uh, now you can see that uh, uh, the Kali Linux files has been copied to your pen drive and it has been renamed by UUI that's the default name now open mini tool partition this will allow you to uh, partition your pen drive so that you can create a persistent partition which will hold your data so that you can uh, uh, I guess you can boot your Kali Linux in the live mode by still saving your all the data you are working on launch the application uh, here you can see that UUI pen drive is marked uh, with 28.64 GB uh, all the other disks will be shown on the above column uh, just right click on your uh, pen drive and uh, click on move or resize here at this point it's on you how much size do you want uh, the recommended size is uh, 8 GB for the for the Kai Linux files but uh, I will leave it just about here uh, you can do as you wish so this is 50 50 almost just click on ok and now you have to create the unallocated partition uh, just click on yes uh, here you have to first select uh, create as primary file system should be ext4 and the name should be persistence this is highly recommended that you will write as I am writing because it won't work if you give it another name just write the same name persistence now click on ok now you have to apply all these settings so just click apply and wait I will just skip to the end now it is completed and all the applied pending have been successfully done now you need to just close all the software and uh, restart your system as you can see the size has been reduced to 41.4 GB uh, don't click on format disk just click on cancel if this appears 
now just restart your pc and uh, go into the live mode of the kai linux uh, basically live persistence uh, you can see here a persistence drive up there now follow the commands as written first fdisk l will list the current disk installed on your system uh, the one with the linux you have to find that mine is dev sdb2 you can yours can be sdc2 it depends so you have to find the linux one now we have to make directory uh, in uh, mnt and uh, just name whatever partition you want i am naming it called linux now we have to mount that linux where the linux files are installed so for mounting we have to mount it on the same path just copy and paste that part dvsdb2 and mnt kinus which we have clicked in the directory now echo command will basically uh, write the content in the columns the semi columns uh, to the file so we are basically writing union in the persistence file and the path is mnt kali linux persistence so we are basically creating a persistence file sorry uh, we are creating the persistence file and uh, we are writing union in that file config file now you have to write u mount i am mistakenly wrong uh, i have mistakenly written unmount but you have to write u mount and space then you have to write dev sdb2 and you have to reboot your system now when you reboot it now when you reboot it just log in to the live persistence mode and that's all it will be done for you and that's all if you have any queries please let me know down in the description box in the comment box sorry and um, if you want any other videos just let me know as as all and uh, please like share and subscribe this video thank you